Hi, this is Andy with Go Big Printing. I want to just get you started really fast, get you on the system as quick as possible. Um, if you follow these simple steps, it'll be easy for you. Uh, if you didn't come in through a partner site and you ended up at GoBigPrinting.com, I'm going to show you how to find the partner site that brought you here. Uh, simply click on the word partners and it brings up a list of all those companies that have sent you here. In this case, I'm going to do an example on Postcard Fusion, and it brings you up their page. It says Postcard Fusion. This is just an information site, and we're not in the designer site. We're going to look at the pricing and how much things cost and understand who Postcard Fusion is on this page. A little bit of an overview. So at this point, what we're going to do is click on Sign Up or Log In, and that'll take you to our designer site. Or you can click on the Get Started Now button right here. But remember, warning, right? Warning, you need to know the organization code. In this case, the partner company's user code is postcard. So at this point, we click on Get Started Now, and it takes you to our sign in page for our, um, our designer site. And for existing users, go ahead and type in your username and password here, and then log in. If you're a new user, come over here and type in a new user. And I'll just do a, a quick one right here just to show you. And when I hit continue, well, we'll do another one. Well, I'm picking some. OK, so now what it does is it brings us to our create a new account page. And the reason why this page is so important is because it's going to auto populate your document postcard brochure or newsletter whatever you order it's going to automatically populate so if you type in your name here and I want it to be capital A-N-D-Y and my last name and my company if I type all this in here I only have to do it once and then every time I come into the site to order something it's going to automatically remember it however right down here organization code don't forget to type in postcard for this particular company if you type in another code here it'll take you maybe to another company and you won't see the correct marketing material at that point click on create account and then you can log in now since I've already logged in and I already have an account I'm coming in here to existing users and I'm going to type in I'm going to type in my well, let's see I spell it wrong. Sorry. I typed it in wrong. And now, since I typed in the correct name and username, it'll bring you to, let it load. This will bring you to the templates that have been created for Postcard Fusion. In this case, there's three different to choose from. A blank postcard where you can upload your own artwork, a marketing template that has a design like this, and an official template that has a design like that. In this case, I'm going to click on Marketing Template, and it'll load for me. And what you're looking at here is shopping cart which there's nothing in my shopping cart orders and if I have ordered something in the past I can see the history my library where I can put my logo and my photo my profile which will list once again that information I just put in which is my name and web address and telephone number um, none of these cards actually automatically pull from your profile but you'll notice that if you did order other things it would automatically populate Actually, it does on page two, but for right now, I want you to pay attention to this side here. Refresh won't save. So if you start editing a document, you're going to want to add it to the shopping cart. If you don't add it to the shopping cart, then it just sits on here and it will never save. Once you add it to the shopping cart, you can continue to edit it later. At this point, I also want to point out PDF preview. If after designing this thing, that you're creating, you can click PDF Preview and it'll open up a PDF for you to view and print out. Now it will be, as I say here, low res because we want you to do the printing with us and we don't want to download a high res PDF for you um, to take someplace else for obvious reasons. You also see this little button here that says yes, please personalize my document. 
and that means each document will go out and be mailed and it'll say dear Mary, dear Mark, dear Sally and it'll pull from your list the first name of your recipient and place it right there. All you have to do to change this text is come over here and type in this area here um, something creative and all you have to do is hit tab and you'll notice that it'll update with what I just wrote. This is to be the best deal of your life. And down below, this is where you put your block of text. So in there, I might write, and I hit refresh, and now it updates and places information there. Um, and likewise, if you scroll down, if you want a bullet point, you can say call today, I hit tab, type in something else, I hit tab, and if you don't have the additional bullets, simply highlight them and hit delete, and you'll see it updates on the fly. Uh, lastly, we have um, down here your call to action, and once again you want to do that. Call us and you'll see that'll update and then of course you want to put in your number your phone number 800-555-1212 hit tab and you'll see this number will change and there you've created your card that's all there is to it now there is page two of two so you click the arrow and you'll notice there's really nothing on page two because that's where the recipient's information will go and this is the return address right here and it populates it here pulled it from my profile if you need to change that here you can or you can go to my profile and you can change it at this point you can add it to shopping cart and walk away and come back and know that it's been saved or you can hit next step and it's going to ask you at this point I went from form filling now I'm at the data list section where it's saying upload a data list select a data list from my library acquire a data list we can buy a list from us and you can filter it down to male or female or uh, radius zip code but at this point, we're going to select, I'm sorry, upload a data list. By clicking on that, it brings open a button here that says, okay, upload from my computer. If I click on browse, it's going to open up my computer. And then I'll go to my desktop. And I'll find the folder that I've stored my files in. And this is my list of a thousand names and I hit open and then I hit submit and this will take a second but you can upload a CSV file or an Excel file we'll take either one and it'll give you the first six rows to give you an idea of what the files are that you just opened with first name last name address and you also see unique ID in some cases people want a unique ID associated with the name if you do have a unique ID it'll automatically place it above that person's first name when you're sending it out I can click this button in which it's going to add it to the library so I can use this list again the next time I simply click submit and it'll tell me my list has a thousand and one records at this point I hit next step and it's going to ask me some things for example do I have any special instructions? Not in this case. What color paper do I want to use? I want to use yellow. Data cleaning. Um, we offer CAS certification and NCOA, National Change of Address. Um, these two items, you can determine which one you'd rather use by clicking on the What's This. It'll open up more information about those and uh, maybe some better choices um, or to help you along. Um, click Next Step to add to shopping cart. No, oh, by the way, here's some prices down here, 39 cents each, and you can see the prices go down the more you order. And over here, it gives you a price estimate and the final cost. At this point, I hit Next Step, and it asks me, um, to put in a description. Um, it'll automatically put in the default name of the product or I can type in March postcard yellow just for um, to remember that um, that product and now I'll add to shopping cart. See at this point I already have a card in here. Well, actually, I actually have uh, two in here. I can edit 
this card. I can duplicate it, delete it, I can put it on hold, I can order a PDF, there's no charge for that, and I can delete it, which is what I'll do now. And at this point, I have one card in my shopping cart, and I can walk away knowing that it's saved. I can come back in later and click on it to edit. But if I'm ready to order, I simply click on Proceed to Checkout. Once you proceed to checkout and check out and pay with a credit card, you can come back into the Orders tab and review it later. At this point, I'll proceed to check out and it's going to take that document and print it to the 1001 names on that list and mail it. Um, at this point I can simply fill in um, you know where my payment information, what kind of credit card it is, etc. And I'm giving you a warning here and I want you to understand this that's why I made it big and bold and red um, and we also list our review terms and conditions but what I'm really saying here is you just um, created a Word document, I'm sorry, a, um, a design document on our site and you have entered all the information in, you've uploaded artwork and I'm just saying look we're not responsible if you left an area that was blank for example like you're supposed to put in a date so that's your responsibility um, and that's very important um, other than that you click on next step and then we'll process your order and check you out right away um, lastly, you can go back into at any time the orders tab and review your past history. Um, view all orders, orders pending, in process, declined, etc. You can look in your My Profile section to see that your first name is right, your web address is right, your email, all that stuff. I also have a logo in here and a photo in case I were to order another document that had a logo and photo opportunity. Um, and that's it. So other than that, if you have any questions, you can always contact us at gobigprinting.com. You'll find our information, our phone number, and uh, contact information all over that. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful day.